I, I do think that people are basically good, or there is a basically good or pure part to people, which I understand I have utterly failed to find, uh, to make consistent with all of my other videos and beliefs in life, which are that people are particularly sociopathic. And, I'm, and therefore, I tend to just stare away from what could be called the goodness of man as, much, as often as possible, because I just don't think it's safe. It's like Kevin Klein's character in Silverado testifies to this wonderful idea of treating everyone as your friend until they prove otherwise. And it seems like a perfectly good philosophy until, subsequent to this declaration, he's buried in the sand to die, or left naked in the sand to die by his companions. Uh, you see this, this topsy-turvy logic, you know, and uh, so... I think it depends on your situation. You know, you may trust your family or your immediate friends, and I'm sure most people have a better idea of men or women than I do, in so much as my experience of both has been rather unsatisfactory. You might say I've chosen my path in that regard. Um, it's, uh, it's one's prerogative to do so. Um, so my world may not translate well to a lot of people, but nonetheless it's mine. And um, I think if you look at, you know, every you know, pure man has an idea of women, every pure man uh, has an idea of women, sorry, every pure woman has an idea of men, may be more or less good or not, and we're all contributing to people's experience of men, or women's experience of men and men's experience of women. It, I, I would like to cautiously say, and with the caveat that this is not, this is obviously, this is part of the whole reason I bring it up, is it's taken in a very bad way by society and very sick people. But uh, youth, younger men, women, boys and girls, are often easier to hear the purity or the goodness in them. And it's not that they're more pure than, say, our elders, but that it is evident that our purity becomes hidden and buried under the folds of a world, that whatever we may testify to as its goodness and purity forces us to hide that purity as we get older. And that is a totally unnatural part of what people usually end up calling the aging process and all the sicknesses thereof. You can draw pharmacology out and anthropology to everything in the world. It's all pharmacology. It's all a chemical religious control. And there are chemical and sort of biblical analogs, if you will, across every scale of what's left to be conceived of as the power of man's own mind and family. And uh, traveling, living closely, uh, white people, why don't you touch and take care of your elders? And these evident breakdowns that leave people to suffer quite as stoically in age as they, I guess they, they evidently did in youth. However wonderful they may have been able to continue to appear to observant people like myself. And I take great issue with that. And whatever one may think about my place in society, I will sound my voice quite as loud as any man ever did.